welcome to another video today i have some very exciting things to share with you i came across some extra money this month <laughs> which is always good and i decided to use it to buy watercolors what a surprise right so i decided to get a good few watercolors from some um, small businesses handmade watercolors and I got uh, quite carried away as uh, one does so I got different watercolor from different business I've been uh, meaning to try for a while so you will be seeing videos coming up with different uh, paints I'll be sharing with you and I decided to just go doing um, by parts because like I said a bit I got a bit carried away I got quite a few paints and I didn't want to you know uh, show them all in one big long video also I'm very excited to try them myself so I just couldn't wait <laughs> until I receive everything so I could share and yeah but before we start I would like to thank everyone that has been following me has been commenting on my videos using my links all of that I really appreciate it's really helpful to get my videos to more people here on YouTube you know how the algorithm works everything you do help me so if you like this video and other of my videos please give me that thumbs up if you want to know when i'll be posting the next video hit that bell icon for the notification to pop up in your feed when i'll be publishing a new video share comment all of that good stuff and thanks everyone that has been doing so i really, really appreciate we have a nice um, group of people here so today I'm going to be sharing one of the watercolors that I got this month from a seller in India and I'm very very excited so these are the watercolors that I got from Arcar Paints this um, brand was featured before in one of Natasha Newton's videos she shared a good few colors from them and I was always intrigued by the colors and really wanted to try and they had this set available this month called Old Town 2 that had very beautiful colors and I couldn't resist so I got this set I got an extra paint I basically only open the envelope like this I have no idea what's inside so I'm gonna be opening here with you I'm very excited about that and before I start also let me mention that <laughs> my table is a bit messy you see some paint stains maybe um, on my mat and the lighting is a little bit darker than usual because I'm filming this um, now in the evening as I came back from work the days are um, the daylight is becoming longer fortunately here in Ireland now we will eventually have daylight until 10 o'clock but so far um, it's um, yeah around I still have a good few minutes of daylight I'm using some extra lights here but I hope it will help you have a sense of um, the beautiful colors that I got from Acar paints so let's see what's inside <gasps> that seems to be like a little um, paper sketchbook or something like that I didn't I don't remember buying this I remember buying the set and uh, one extra color so that's what came in this envelope I got this and this little marbled ah that's really nice so it's like a accordion um, sketchbook 
this is the name of the brand, Arcar Creation. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, her name is Trupti. Yeah, so send me a little note. I got uh, a bit of a pause because my camera is uh, running out of battery. So I was saying that um, this uh, business is managed by uh, Trupti and she was really, really nice. She answered some questions I had and I'm very excited to see what's in here. Let's see. It's a very nice packaging. So they come in this metal tin with the name of the brand, really nice. She sent in some candy as well, which is nice. I'll never say no to candy. <laughs> and what else? There's some paper here for, ah, with the magnet. So this is, I assume is for the um, color swatches. Having some difficulty getting to the paints here. Let's try with the scissors. Ah. Here we go. So let's see. This is the set that I bought. It's called Old Town Palette. Two. and then this is uh, the extra paint that I got I was not aware it was a full pen which is great for the price I, I really thought it was a half pen um, this is Caput Morton and also she sent me an extra pen uh, an extra pen of paint which I have no idea which color it is that I'm excited to try. <laughs> so I'll start unwrapping this and then we will swatch it. So I'm back. As you can see, I have unpacked all of these beautiful colors and I'm super excited to try them. So we have here the 12 colors of the Old Town Palette set that I ordered. So the first one is Raw Cypress, then we have Oxide Yellow, then Mars Orange, Italian Brown, Pozzuoli Red, Terracotta, Indian Red, Henna, Cobalt Cerulean, Warm Indigo, Spagnum, Vine Black, the, and then we have the extra pan that I ordered, Caput Morton, the full pan here. And this is the extra pan she sent to me as a gift, which I'm really happy about. Look how it's beautiful. It's called Soft Green and it's a mix between white and PG23 that I believe is Green Earth. I'll put here on the screen if I'm wrong. But yeah, they, are, they look very, very beautiful. And as I showed to you also, what I really appreciate is that she uses magnets on the bottom of each pen and she puts the name of the color, the pigments, the name of the brand and the light fastness. It's very thoughtful. It really helps. Sometimes um, colors are very similar, like you see the surf tones here. I even kept the wrapping on the side just to remember the name so it's really helpful to have them all already um, named like that i really appreciate that to swatch this uh, beautiful paints today i'm gonna be using this uh, sketchbook with balking for paper i really love balking for paper i um, am used to painting on the cold press version it's 300 grams per square meter it's uh, called knot and I love it. It's really nice. It has a very nice 
natural natural feel and texture to it it uh, almost behaves sometimes as good um, sorry as cotton paper so i really appreciate it and i said um oh, let me try something new and let me get the rough version and so far i haven't been such a big fan because it has this kind of regular texture as opposed to the cold press i'll show you you can see here i hope you can see this one has more of a natural feel this one is more of a regular texture which i don't really like for watercolor paper but i bought it so i'm gonna make use of it anyways <laughs> and i decided to use it for these uh, swatches now so let's start i think i'll start by just dropping a little bit of water on each color it's usually the case with handmade watercolors that they work better if you just drop some water beforehand I really love the look of this color so far. There's a lot of earth tones. It's kind of a more like um, earthy, warm uh, color palette. But at the same time, it's um, it has some nice um, colors, uh, color combination. You have greens, you have some ochres, you have some kind of uh, orangey uh, brown tones gray so looking forward to creating something with that so let's start with the first one that is raw cypress They reactivate pretty easily. Some um, some colors and some paints uh, take a bit longer to activate with water, but these are very nice and smooth. Once I'm done with all the swatching, I'm gonna name the paints here underneath, and then I'm gonna show you a close up of the dry. Um, swatches the next one what was the name I, I yellow oxide I believe beautiful kind of vibrant ochre this is more opaque it's nice to have um, different type of these um, ochre colors one transparent and one more opaque makes it very versatile I really really love this color it's very beautiful can imagine this can make can make beautiful greens as well now the next one is um i probably should have kept the wrappers <laughs> i'm missing all the names of the colors over here so let me just pick i think it's mars orange yes that's it mars orange I was very intrigued by this one. Wow. This is also very rich. You can see I barely touched the brush to the paint and it's all very concentrated color. I 
and I don't know if you can see on screen but this um, yellow oxide has some texture to it this really really unique I don't ha I don't think I have any kind of ochre color similar to it it's really nice um, let's see what's the next one now This is Italian brown. I'll have to do my swatching here as well, won't I? Otherwise I will never remember the names. So let's see, Italian brown. It's a nice earth tone as well looks like there is some texture to it I really love paint um, with texture, watercolor with texture that's the beauty of using handmade watercolors as well just that a lot of them have this organic feel to it and I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Kabi watercolor paper is a paper made out of cotton rag and I find that this type of paints with the caddy watercolor paper they just look something special it's just you know there's this um, texture the feel it looks very organic and natural it's beautiful I really recommend if you like this type of feel for your paints if you like botanical art or animals it, it, it's another experience painting with um, handmade watercolors on caddy cotton rag and I have a, a whole sketchbook of caddy paper that I have paint, um, painted some uh, animals haven't finished yet but once I am finished I'll do some sketchbook tour of it so you can see um, next one is Pozzuoli Red I believe Pozzuoli is a kind of a, a, it's the name of a region in Italy where they get this pigment from wow also very rich so far these colors are super rich only the first um, raw Cyprus I think is raw amber I'm not sure um, this is the, the lightest one of them, the other ones are very vibrant, very rich. It's the first time I get uh, watercolors from India. And so far I'm very impressed with the quality. Love the colors. They're quite similar, these uh, at least um, while wet but I can see there are some texture forming already here on this Mars orange also here I'm so happy <laughs> this month uh, like I mentioned I had some extra funds that I could spend and I happily <laughs> went berserk with watercolors guys you just be ready that's coming i will be making several videos because i bought handmade watercolors from several sellers um, on etsy or on websites and i got watercolors from india from italy from latvia from poland and i also finally finally got my hands on some kind of handmade watercolors that I've been meaning to try that's also coming <laughs> so there's a lot of exciting stuff coming um, your way in uh, regards to swatching new colors new vendors trying different stuff I'm really happy I'm not <laughs> I'm not an overspender in a lot of things but when it comes to paint I'm just like take my money <laughs> the next color is terracotta so 
sorry if I'm rambling, I'm really excited. I usually don't go for so many uh, paints <laughs> at the same month, but like I said, I just decided to spoil myself a little this month. And I thought that was a good opportunity to share with you, since a lot of you have the same passion for um, art supplies and watercolor and colors. It was um, obvious that I would like to share everything here on YouTube. So this is terracotta. It's kind of a... Uh, it's quite dark. I didn't expect the terracotta to be so dark. I wonder if I got from the right um, color. Because, yeah, it looks more like this color here that is the Indian red. So, we'll see <laughs> if I got distracted by talking too much and got the, the wrong color. Let's see. Oh no, that's, that's a different color. So yeah, that was indeed terracotta. The Indian red is a more purplish um, hue. I think I'm gonna do also is to try to remove a little bit of paint here so you can see a bit of the color when it's not um, full mass tone. Wow! I believe that this, if used diluted, has a lot of granulation as well. At least uh, so it seems that there's some texture over here. This Italian brown dried beautifully with some um, brown granulation, different brown, it's so nice. Let's see, wow, it looks almost black, um, the Indian red, like this in mass tone. So a little goes a very long way. kind of a more, uh, like I said, purplish, colder earth tone compared to the terracotta. Really nice. Now the only green in the set, it's called Henna. She also released uh, now a um, green set, I think it's uh, six colors. And this is one of the colors in the set. And I love greens. It's usually one of the colors. Greens and turquoises are the colors that always get my attention <laughs> when I'm looking for colors to buy. I, I usually always go first for turquoises and greens. So. This is a very nice earthy one, kind of a, an olive green, but very grounded, not too bright. Well, I love any type of olive green, bright, earthy. <laughs> it's my type of green. And this one is really, um, it fits really nicely with the rest of the tone of the palette. Um, what else? Ah, sorry, I forgot to mention, I'm using to swatch my Da Vinci Nova Synthetics. I really like these brushes, they are very nice and ergonomic to hold. They hold a good amount of water as well. I got them in many different sizes. I've been using them a lot lately to paint with. So now it's um, Cobalt Cerulean. Also, this looks very... Um, rich look. Then 
the good thing about watercolors is that good quality watercolors like this they will last you for a very long time because as I'm showing here you only need a tiny little bit and you get so much pigment load unlike with like uh, student uh, watercolors where you need to constantly be digging into the pan to get some color payout you see this one I just barely touched the brush and look at the pigment load of that it will take me forever to finish a pan like this so it's really worth investing in good quality um, paints and also I like like I said I like the feel of handmade paints they are unique and I also like supporting small businesses that are doing this very laborious process of creating watercolors is something that I wouldn't try myself so I admire and really support who does that now we have warm indigo this is the only color in the set that is not light fast and they uh, um, they indicate this in the website because of course indigo is not light fast but I'm fine with it I'll be using in sketchbook or artwork that I won't be hanging on my wall so it's a very nice dark blue almost uh, like a bluish paints gray kind of color my swatches are getting huge <laughs> they started so small and now they are super long yeah it's a beautiful color and I think with indigo because it's such a dark rich um, color and also transparent you can get a very um, large uh, range of tonal value so you can go from very dark to the lightest I'm sure that you can do a whole painting only using this color in different um, tones and we are arriving close to the end now we have only two left you have sphagnum that is this uh, grayish tone I think that the, this, the name comes from Spagnum Moss and I know that because I was um, researching into building my own terrarium a while ago and this was one of the things that they mentioned to put inside the terrarium if I'm not mistaken it's a nice grey, it's a bit opaque because um, it has white on it but it's a nice kind of warm brownish grey And now the last color from the set is called Vine Black. It's a warm black. I usually don't um, use black a lot. In paintings I prefer to mix darker colors with the colors I'm using in the painting but I think it can be used uh, also as a mixing color to give some different tones maybe later on I may try some um, doing some color uh, grid color grids color mixing with these colors and see which other tones I can get I'm sure that with the 
indigo and um, the blue and even the black uh, with the yellows and the browns I can get some interesting um, greens so this is the set uh, Old Town Palette 2 as you can see it's a very um, earthy set there's a lot of earthy tones over here and now I'm gonna swatch the extra Caput Morton that I got that I saw Natasha's video and it looked really fabulous color separating, granulating and all of that so I'm gonna load a bit more water into this one because I'm curious to see how it would behave Wow, I hope you can see on the video, the granulation is already going wild. And I had even more paints on my uh, cart when I got this from Arcar Creation. But then I remember that it was coming from India and I'll probably have to pay custom fees on that. So. I had to control my enthusiasm but uh, yeah it's a really really beautiful color I'm super happy to get this color here and it's a full pencil it will last me a long time it's a very beautiful granulating separating uh, color now the last one is the color that she gave me um, she put as a, a free um, color in my order which I was not aware of until I opened it so I'm very happy for that very thankful for that and it's a beautiful nice green like type of a sage pastel green which I love as you can see <laughs> pastel greens and uh, turquoises are my thing so that's a really beautiful color as well I'm very happy with this order so what I'm going to do now is let this dry put all the names underneath the colors and then I'll come back and show you a close up of them see you soon So I'm back, the colors are dry, the sun is shining outside as you can see here. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a close up of all the colors. From this uh, particular old town uh, set my favorite colors were the yellow oxide the Italian brown and I also love the henna green Pozzoli red all of them are very beautiful but what struck me the most was the yellow oxide the Italian brown the yellow oxide has very vibrant color payoff as you can see both in the sunlight and in the shadow and the Italian brown has this beautiful granulation and the caput mortem what can I say look at this color separation granulation the whole deal look at the sunlight so these are very beautiful colors I really recommend them. Trupti is super nice and helpful. You can get on her um, Telegram group and ask any questions you have about the paints. They didn't take very long to arrive and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the content. If you did, please remember to give me the thumbs up 
share comment all of that and keep your eyes peeled because there's more coming soon bye